Good morning again. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas, the Bishop of Myra, is our patron saint at St. Nicholas Episcopal Church located here in Darnstown, Germantown, Montgomery County, Maryland. A little bit of background, St. Nicholas lived only 300 years after Jesus. And the, the area of Myra was located is in, in, this, in the area of Turkey, the country of Turkey. When Nicholas was a young boy, he sought the holy and made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. There he walked where Jesus walked. And he sought to experience more deeply Jesus's life and passion and resurrection. As he returned by the sea, a mighty storm came and threatened to wreck the ship. But Nicholas remained calm and he prayed. And he prayed and he prayed. And something absolutely amazing happened. The wind and the waves were calm and the sea was not threatening anymore. And the sailors were, went from being terrified to being truly amazed at what this man, this person, Nicholas did. There's another story about Nicholas. There was a man in his community that had three daughters. And in those days, fathers had to provide for their daughters a dowry or a treasure so that they could find prospective husbands. This treasure was something that would be a value which would increase the value of the woman. I'll leave it there. But the larger the dowry, the better the chance the young woman would find a good husband. And if there was no dowry, it was unlikely that the woman, the daughter would get married. So this poor man he had three daughters and they didn't have any dowries. So they were destined to be sold into slavery. But mysteriously on three different occasions, bags of gold appeared in their home three different times, three different bags of gold. And these bags of gold were tossed in through an open window and it said that they landed in stockings or shoes that were left by the fire to dry. That's why on the eve of St. Nicholas Day, children leave their shoes outside their doors or in the hallway in hopes that St. Nicholas will visit and give them gifts. That's why also St. Nicholas is depicted often with three gold balls. You'll notice on our logo that there is at the base three gold balls symbolizing those gold bags of coins that are bags of gold coins that St. Nicholas provided for the dowries. But he didn't just provide gifts to the poor man and for his daughters, he provided gifts to lots of people often in secret. He helped feed the hungry. He helped bring prosperity and, and gifts to people in need in his community, especially those who were sick and who were suffering. And like I said, he often did this in secret. But most of all, most of all, St. Nicholas loved children and he would shower them with gifts and love. Sometimes we see not only gold coins as gifts at St. Nicholas Day, but we also see candy canes, which are in the curve of what we call a crozier, which is the, the shepherd's or the bishop's crook that they carry. And then too, we find oranges or small bats, fruit of any kind. St. Nicholas loved children and made sure the gifts were always given to the children on St. Nicholas Day. In fact, I heard that St. Nicholas made a few visits this week to the homes of children from this parish. He gave them gifts of gold coins filled with chocolate 
and shared information about himself, puzzles and short stories about his life and even coloring pages. You know, even the pandemic can't stop St. Nicholas from giving gifts to children. And you know what? You and I, we can continue to carry on St. Nicholas's joy of being generous and giving gifts, sometimes in secret. Maybe you and I can do something in secret, like send a note to somebody and slide it under their door or put it in the mail and not tell anyone who it's from. Somebody was St. Nicholas to me this week. I got in the mail a picture of me holding my great niece and great nephew. And when I sent a note to my niece and said, thank you so much for making this picture into a canvas, she said, I didn't do it. And I said, well, who did? She said, I have no idea. And neither do I, but I'm gonna just say it was from St. Nicholas. It was a wonderful surprise gift. Maybe we could put cookies in front of somebody's door as long as they're COVID safe or tell somebody a favorite story or memory about our holidays in years past. Or maybe we could do the dishes or take out the trash without anyone pleading with us to have to do it. Or maybe you could send a donation to a charity to help a family in need or to feed someone who is hungry or to help someone get an education. These are just a few ideas of how we can be St. Nicholas and carry on his legacy of giving gifts to help people in need. There's another story I wanna share with you because I had actually two visits from St. Nicholas this week. So St. Nicholas asked me to be one of his helpers to share the gifts with the children of this community. So not wanting to show up at people's doorsteps in the middle of a pandemic without giving them a heads up, um, I sent a note to the, the parents of the young children and said, this is what I'm gonna be doing for St. Nicholas this week. I'm gonna stop by your house and drop off St. Nicholas's gifts. But you could also, if you wanted to stop by, come by and just let me know when you're in the parking lot and I'll bring out a contactless bag. And somebody did that. Um, Elizabeth and her daughter Maggie said they would like to come by and pick up the gift from St. Nicholas. So they called and I went outside and the passenger side windows were open. And so I had my mask on and my gloves on and I put the bag, it was a brown paper bag, so nobody knew what St. Nicholas's gifts were. I put it inside the passenger side in the front seat and Elizabeth took the bag and she handed it to Maggie who was sitting in the back seat. And I was a little confused and flustered and a little bit questioning. And I said, you know, this is for Saturday night. And Elizabeth said, I know, but Maggie asked to see it now. Now, what I didn't tell you is that Maggie is three years old. Actually, she's four now. She was three years old last year when we had church in person and St. Nicholas came to visit us in this space. And Maggie opened that bag and she rooted and rooted and rooted and finally pulled out a pouch that looks like this. And she opened it and she handed me this. She handed this to me and she said, St. Nicholas wants us to give gifts this is for you. Three years old and she got the lesson that St. Nicholas is about gift giving, gift giving in secret. And like I am right now, I got very teary eyed because we here love children and we want children to know about God's love for them. And we want them to know about St. Nicholas and sharing and loving. And Maggie got it. Maggie got that lesson. And that has made my St. Nicholas, and I hope your St. Nicholas Day, even that much more richer. We are blessed. We are blessed to be St. Nicholas, not only in word, but in deed and in love and giving gifts in secret. 
So I sent a note to Elizabeth after they left and said, I just want you to know Maggie had me in tears. And she said, well, the rest of the story is that on the way home, she said to me, you know, Jesus gave gifts to people too. Jesus is the reason for us all being here. And we are called to be generous and loving and to share the gifts we have, whether in secret or in person. But that's the way God's love is spread throughout the world, through little random acts of kindness and sharing and showing love and support. Let us pray. God of joy and cheer, we thank you for your servant, the good Bishop Nicholas. In loving the poor, he showed us your kindness. In caring for your children, he revealed your love. Make us thoughtful like Nicholas and like Maggie, without need of reward, so that we too may be good followers of Jesus. Amen.